How are you feeling physically? How's this first week been for you? It's been really cool. Um, I'm loving it here. We're having a lot of fun as a team. We're getting better as a team. We're, you know, we're coming out here and competing. Um, so I, I have no complaints. We've been we've been doing good. How has the fresh start kind of uh, created excitement for you throughout this kind of first week? Yeah, I haven't had this much fun playing football in a while, honestly. Um, so just having a fresh start, new scenery, new players, new teammates, getting to know everybody, getting to work with everybody. I mean, I've been watching some of these guys play for years and getting to play with them, which is the coolest part to me, no matter what team. So um, it's just been awesome. I've been having a lot of fun. I've been enjoying it. What's your impressions? <coughs> Excuse me. What's your impressions of the offense? Like I said, we're out here to have fun. We're out here to have fun. We're out here to compete. Uh, we've got a really good O-line, and we've got a bunch of guys on that O-line who are really good. So to me, seeing those guys work day in, day out, seeing Kelsey, seeing Lane, seeing B. Brooks, seeing all these Herbie and all these guys play, and seeing Jordan just overshadow everybody on defense, um, it's been really awesome. And uh, we look to ride those guys the whole year. How big a part of your game would you say blocking is? I can't even hear you. I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. How big a part of your game would you say blocking is? Blocking is, is the game. Blocking, tackling, and special teams. That's how people win. That's how people go to Super Bowl. That's how people win week in, week out. That's how you win the day. It's always been that way, and it'll always stay that way. Uh, what is Jamal added as, as your coach in that room? It looks like he gets pretty violent with that boxing glove when you yeah. guys are he, doing the ball. He loves his job. Room. And anytime you know you're playing, in my opinion, you're playing for a guy that loves his job, it makes the game so much easier. Because you know in the, in the meeting room he's going to teach it, and he's going to teach it well because he loves it and he believes in it. You know out here on the field he's going to work, and he's going to work you good, and he's going to work the things that he thinks you need to improve on because he loves the game. So every day he brings excitement. Every day he keeps us upbeat, and it uh, really helps us get through the days. It seems like position coaches are talking to guys almost immediately after every rep. How, how helpful is that to have that type of coaching and accountability in the moment? Again, that's because they love this game. All, all of our coaches, I mean, you should see these guys in a meeting, how fired up they get when you do something wrong. And when, they, and when you do something right, they get even, get even more fired up, especially when they talk about it. You go out there on the field and you do it. They love the game. They love to talk. They love to teach. They love to preach. And that, that, I mean, you can't ask for much more than that. Can you give an example of, of a time that somebody got something wrong in the room and how Jamal or Nick kind of reacted to it? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I get. Yeah, I'm, I don't know today. I'm, I'm, I got something wrong today. Um, so I, I mean, I don't want to go into specifics because you know I'm not a head coach or a position coach. So you can ask those guys that. But believe me, it happens every single practice. You mentioned this, the offensive line last year. You probably know that they were decimated by injuries. Mm -hmm. uh, Twenty million different line combinations, and it, it their screen game was pretty much non-existent yeah. for that reason. When you, I mean, in practice with these guys, I mean, how do you envision? A, this unit being able to have success with with the screen game this year. Yeah, I mean these when you've got tackles like Jordan, you got tackles like Lane, and you've got a center like Jason. I mean, it, it's hard to envision a screen game not being successful. Those guys are so athletic. I mean, the way they move and some of the things they do on the field, I have never seen. From and I've watched a lot of O line, I've watched a lot of football, and I've never seen it. I mean, these guys are beasts out there. So when they can move like that and they're smart and they understand their assignments like they do. Um, you know, you expect it to be pretty successful. You Is your perspective different being in a place where you basically uh, have a, f a, f a, f a fresh start coming off the waiver wire as opposed to being a second round pick? Yeah, it is. Um, you know, I never really paid attention to that thing. To me, you know, you're always last. You know, as long as you keep that mindset, I'm always last. I'm always last on a depth chart. I'm always last in this. I'm always last in this. You know, that's what keeps you humble. That's what keeps you going. So um, I'm going to come here. I gave 100% place I was at before. I'm going to give 100% here and uh, let the cookie crumble, you know. I can't change what anybody else does or says. I just got to go out there and play my game and see where I land. You got to play with uh, Jason Huntley last summer mm -hmm. and get to see where he – how much has he grown over the last year? Tremendously. I was just telling the other day when we were doing a pass pro drill, I said, when we first went to Detroit, you were shit at this. And he said, he said, I know. And I said, but now, man, you go up there with some fire, some intensity, you know, for being a small guy, that drill is hard. Any drill, any pass pro drill is going to be tough. But he goes up there with no, no fright. He goes in there, he puts his head down, he tries to get the block done, and that's half the battle in pass pro right there. So I've seen tremendous growth. Obviously, he's always been fast, and he still is. But just other areas of his game, I mean, it's, it's good to see. As a rookie player, what have you seen from Kenny Gainwell? Uh, obviously, it's a different, difficult transition. You went through it. Everybody goes through mm -hmm. it. Do you offer any tips, advice to him? Yeah, I mean, mentally he's been strong. Uh, like you said, it's a transition, you know, fall camp. I mean, you went from college to NFL fall camp. 
Um, it's difficult, but he's been strong. I mean, you see the routes he's running, you see the plays he's making. I mean, almost every day he's making an explosive play. He's extremely talented. He does some things on the field where I just can't explain. Um, so he's doing really well, and uh, it's been a pleasure to work with him for sure. Being that your role on this team is short yardage guy, mm -hmm. how do you feel about your ability to, to step into that role? And is that something you're willing to do? If that, you know, yeah, I take all in any roles. Hell, I'll be a reporter if y'all if y'all offer me a role as a reporter, I will go out there and report. That's just, <laughs> that's just the type of guy I've always been. Um, you know, whatever they ask of me, that's what I do. Whatever they need, that's what I try to fulfill. You know, that's the way it's supposed to be. You know, we've got a lot of guys out here with a lot of families and a lot of guys with a lot of years and putting in a lot of effort. You know, it wouldn't be right for me to be like, oh, I have this role and I don't want it. Like, that's, that's, that's you know what I'm saying? So whatever they give me, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take his because he's been asking. What's the biggest thing you learned the last couple years, you know, in the two years after your rookie year, just as far as things maybe not coming so easy? Yeah, I mean, the game is forever changing. Um, you know, you can never be, you know, it's hard for a lot of guys nowadays to win the game by themselves, you know, and that was kind of my mindset after my rookie year, like, you know, put it all on me, and it just didn't happen that way. Things, this happened, this happened, this situation popped up. And, uh, you know, the NFL just doesn't work like that for 99, you know, 99% of guys, especially at running back. Um, so, you know, it takes all of us. It takes a team. It takes a coaching staff. It takes a training staff. It takes a strength staff. And all of those guys coming together, and, and that's how you get the success you're looking for. You mentioned Jordan a little bit earlier. What's it like running behind him? Six, eight, three? Can you get lost behind him? You don't get lost, but the defense does. You know, honestly, you know, some guys literally just disappear behind them, but you feel really safe because, you know, look, when you're that big, hell, you can damn near miss a block and still block two people. Um, but, I mean, he's, like I said, he's extremely athletic for him to be that big, that size. I, I mean, it's amazing to watch him work. I mean, like I said, he's huge, but he moves well. He, does, he don't, You don't feel the weight on the field that he's at. You don't feel his height. You don't feel like he can't bend. He's an extreme athlete. You guys are in a really good competition at running back. What's that room like being in there? I mean, we all love love each other. I mean, we go out there every single day. We go into every single meeting. We're trying to get each other better. Nobody looks at it like, oh, man, like, this guy's trying to take a job. This guy's trying to take a job. We all go in every day like, hey, I got to earn it today. And uh, every, every day, every meeting, I got to be correct. I got to earn it today. And that's how you get the best out of each other. We all know we all want to be the best. We all know we got to push each other forward, and that's what we do.